The U.S. Department of Education redesigned the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, in 2023. It was supposed to be simplified and streamlined to make it easier for students and parents to fill out. Instead, there's been delays and confusion. I am in 12th grade at Mishawaka High School. Lorelai Hensel is in the planning stages of the rest of her life. I plan to attend college. Um, I'm between the University of Colorado Boulder and Purdue University. But she can't make plans for that next step until she knows how much it will cost. I completed the FAFSA, my dad completed the FAFSA, and my mom completed it last night. Hensel is one of millions of students hoping for some help to pay for college. The FAFSA is the application for federal student aid like grants, work study funds, and loans. And on top of that, many states and colleges use the FAFSA information to determine a student's eligibility for state and school aid. It might also help you qualify for scholarships and other local dollars. So we don't have access to the 24-25 FAFSA yet. Unfortunately, this time around, there are major delays impacting students and schools, including at IU South Bend. First, the FAFSA usually launches in October. That didn't happen until December. Then there were glitches and confusion after the initial rollout. And just last week, the U.S. Department of Education announced a new delay. Colleges won't start receiving students' financial aid data from the FAFSA until March. As universities of, of higher education, we all just need the data from the FAFSA to even offer anything, to tell students, hey, this is how much we can get to help you pay for school. But right now, we're kind of up in the air because we can't give that to students yet. Typically, colleges have already received that FAFSA information. Usually, students get financial aid award letters in March and then are expected to commit to a college by May. That financial aid money helps many students decide where they want to go. There is some frustration, especially for newer students, if they're trying to decide on where they're going to go. Um, they're definitely reaching out to us saying, hey, I filled out my FAFSA, do you know what, what my aid's going to look like? And I, we don't have an answer yet because we don't have the, uh, the data yet. Colleges and universities and high school counselors hope these delays don't keep people from filling out the FAFSA. Don't put it off. Get it done so that when it is all figured out, you're one of the first to know um, your opportunities and you can make your decision quicker. There are federal, state, and school deadlines to fill out the FAFSA. In Michigan, you have until May 1st. In Indiana, you have until April 15th. And new this year in Indiana, filling out the FAFSA is now a graduation requirement. Reason being is even if you're going to trade school, you're also going to need to complete a FAFSA. So a lot of people just think like no college, but if you are going to, let's say a two-year community college as opposed to a four-year university, you're still going to need to do that. Even if it is a six-week program at Ivy Tech or an eight-week program, you still need that FAFSA completed. Still, because of the latest FAFSA frustrations, no matter what students ultimately decide about their future, many, like Hensel, are left to wait. I'm just trying to keep my uh, options open. If I receive a lot of money from one of these other schools, then it will definitely be a school to consider. Coming up on Wednesday, Operation Education shows you the top four things to remember when filling out the FAFSA this year. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News. I'm John Paul. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.